Normal looking photos that have a disturbing backstory, part 1. This photo shows the Russian ambassador to Turkey, Andrei Karlov, who is doing a conference at an art gallery. The man standing behind him is about to assassinate him. This photo was found on the camera of two vacationers who were swept away by the 2004 tsunami, which claimed the lives of over 240,000 people. The man who took the photograph of this bear is Darsh Patel, a 22-year-old who went hiking with some friends. Shortly after taking it, he was killed by the same bear. This picture was taken by the crew of a ship who saw this 11-year-old girl floating on a disintegrating float. Her whole family was murdered on a sailboat by the hired captain who left her to drown on the sinking boat. She drifted for four days with no food, no water, and sunlight beating on her skin. When the captain heard she survived, he killed himself. Normal Looking Photos with Disturbing Backstories, Part 2 This snapchat was the last photo ever taken of Sydney Loof, a woman who was killed by her Tinder date. Her body was cut into 14 different pieces, and when it was brought back to the morgue, it was in 6 different bags. This man was transferring oxygen tanks for 12 boys in their coach. He didn't have enough oxygen for himself, however, and died after losing consciousness in one of the cave's passageways. This man is a sea sagawa, an actual cannibal from Japan. This photo was taken by a Japanese magazine after he was released from prison for insanity. The man in this photo, Franklin Floyd, married a woman and had custody over her children while she was in prison for 30 days. The girl in this photo is one of her children, whom Floyd kidnapped to start a new life with. He left the other siblings behind, and after this photo was taken, he went to another state, changed both of their names, and claimed her as his biological daughter. Later, he went on to marry her. Normal looking photos that have a disturbing backstory, part 3. All the photos used in this video are from a documentary that was recommended to me by this really cool app. Click the link in my bio to download it. Right after this photo was taken, a bomb went off in the red car beside the boy on his dad's shoulders. The boy and the father miraculously survived, however, the cameraman and 28 others died while 220 people were injured. The woman in red standing on the railing is a Japanese exchange student. Right after this photo was taken, she lost her footing and was swept over Niagara Falls and fell to her death. The man in this photo is David Johnston, 13 hours before the eruption of Mount St. Helens in the 1980s. His last words over the radio were Vancouver, Vancouver, this is it, before he passed away and his remains were never found. The man in this photo is Tyler Hadley, who just before this photo was taken, murdered both of his parents and left their dead bodies in the house and proceeded to throw a house party. Normal looking photos that have a disturbing backstory, part 4. This is former NBA player Mark Jackson's basketball card. In the background are the Menendez brothers. They're sitting courtside shortly after killing their parents and just before getting arrested. The 17 year old who took this photo told his family members that he planned to hike the stairway to heaven. He texted multiple pictures before his disappearance, and shortly after, the family noticed a man in this photo. While this photo may seem like an ordinary picture of footprints in the sand, they actually belong to a four-year-old little girl who shortly after this photo was taken, drowned in the ocean. The two brothers in this photo are at Sequoia National Park. This photo was taken moments before they were both struck by lightning, and both shockingly survived. There was a tradition in Victorian England to take photos of dead people, often dressed in their best clothes, and pose as if they were taking a family portrait. If you look at this photo for long enough, you will notice something is a little off about one of the children. Normal looking photos that have a disturbing backstory, part 5. The man who took this photo of his wife scuba diving off the Australian coast also managed to take a photo of Tina Watson, who was drowned by her husband that day in 2003. Dutch teenager Gary Slock and his mother Petra posted this photo to Facebook moments before their plane was shot down by Russians, killing all 298 people aboard. At first glance, it looks like this woman is resting peacefully, until you notice that that's a car roof twisted around her like bedsheets. She jumped from the top of the Empire State Building and happened to land in this very graceful, peaceful way. This is the last photo ever taken of 18-year-old Jolie Callan, who after this photo was taken was shot twice in the head and pushed off of the cliff by her ex-boyfriend. While this may seem like a normal family photo, just below the wife is a rattlesnake about to strike her arm. She was bitten and survived, but the dog died. Guys, make sure to go follow my Instagram at JackHNeal. For the next 24 hours, I'll be following every single person back. Normal looking photos that have a disturbing backstory, part 6. This photo shows a man and a woman on the 70s game show, The Dating Game. The man in this photo who won the date with the woman is Rodney Alcala, a famous serial killer. 
Cheryl Bradshaw, the woman, found him extremely creepy and after the camera stopped rolling, refused to go on a date with him, possibly saving her life. This photo shows 1954 Hermosa Beach, California. This couple's 19-month-old son was dragged out to sea. This shows George W. Bush receiving news of the 9-11 attacks while reading to a group of school children. While this photo may seem like an ordinary cop, he actually just got arrested after killing 77 people and injuring 250 more. He traveled to an island where a youth camp was held and started shooting at random. Children who didn't know he was the shooter went to him for protection because he was dressed like a cop and he shot them immediately. Their only form of escape was swimming off the island. Normal looking photos that have a disturbing backstory, part 7. Blanche Monnier was a free woman until she began dating a man that her mother didn't approve of. To maintain control of Blanche, she chained her to this bed for 25 years and nearly starved her to death. This painting of a dog looking into a gramophone is titled His Master's Voice, and it's based off the painter inheriting his brother's dog and the brother had just passed away. He noticed that the dog became intrigued when he played recordings of his brother's voice. This photo shows John Lennon signing a copy of his latest album, Double Fantasy for a Fan. The man on his right was his killer. This photo was taken by two girls out for a walk on the Monon High Bridge in Indiana. They were both found dead the following day. The man in this photo was presumed to be their killer, but he was never found. These teeth were removed from the side of a denture clinic in Nova Scotia. The owner of this place killed 22 people in the worst mass shooting in Canadian history. Normal looking photos that have a disturbing backstory, part 8. This shadow is permanently etched on the steps of Hiroshima following the nuclear explosion that killed over 70,000 people. The boy in this photo is Estevan Reiner. The Nazis who took his photo made him put this uniform on, smile for the picture, and knew exactly what his fate would be. Two weeks later, he was killed in a gas chamber. A similar story for this girl whose photo was just taken by a Nazi photographer after Germany had just invaded Poland. You can tell by her smile that she had no idea what was to come. This photo shows three young girls smiling together for a selfie. On the right hand side of the photo, you can see a light which is the headlight of a train which hits them moments later. While this photo appears to be just an ordinary large class photo, the two boys at the top left are responsible for the Columbine High School shooting, which at the time was the worst high school shooting in American history and killed 12 students and one teacher. Normal looking photos that have a disturbing backstory, part 9. While some people may find clowns frightening, they're still normal. This photo shows John Wayne Gacy, or Pogo the Clown, who was a convicted serial killer and rapist in the 1970s. Gacy was convicted of sexually assaulting and murdering over 30 boys and became known as the Killer Clown. This security cam shows two 10-year-old boys abducting 3-year-old James Berger in a mall in England. The two boys took him on a two and a half mile walk and tortured him in ways that I will not mention, leaving his body on a railroad track. This photo was found on a damaged camera that had gone through the washing machine at the home of Travis Alexander. His girlfriend held him at gunpoint and then shot him to death after the photo was taken. She took many other photos. This girl is Tereska, who grew up in a Nazi concentration camp and lived in a home for disturbed children after World War II. When asked to draw what home looks like, she drew this sporadic tunnel of lines. Normal looking photos that have a disturbing backstory, part 10. Ronaldo Doxa, a politician in the Philippines, took a picture of his family right before he was assassinated on New Year's Day in 2011. The man in the back shot him twice while his family was forced to watch. The man holding the puppy is Yukio Araki, a kamikaze pilot who just one day later would crash into the USS Brayan, killing 66 of the crew members and taking his own life. Yukio was only 17 years old, knowing completely well that he'd be going to his death the next day. The smiling man in this photo is Nazi Joseph Goebbels, who was in a 1933 League of Nations meeting, and in the next photo, his expression completely changes. His expression changes from cheerful to hatred because someone told him that the photographer was of Jewish descent. This seemingly normal photo shows three men in judo attire. The man on the right, however, is Osama bin Laden, the terrorist responsible for the 9-11 attacks on New York City. Normal looking photos that have a disturbing backstory, part 11. The girl wearing the veil is Elizabeth Smart, who was kidnapped for nine months by the man on the far right. This photo was taken at a party the kidnapper crashed with Elizabeth, and she was forced to wear this veil at all times to keep her from being recognized in public. While this photo may seem like a bunch of astronauts hanging out at the pool and having a great time, it's actually the crew of Apollo 1. They died inside the capsule on the left, 
unable to escape the fire. This is Chernobyl Elephant's Foot, a massive radiation from the reactor core meltdown. If you hang around it for too long, it becomes deadly, but not nearly as much as in 1986. It's so deadly that they had to use a set of mirrors to take this photograph. This photo was just taken after LBJ became president following the assassination of John F. Kennedy. In the front, you'll see Jackie Kennedy grieving her husband's death. LBJ turned toward his lifelong friend, Texas Congressman Albert Thomas, who gave him a wink and a smile. Normal looking photos that have a disturbing backstory, part 12. How about an entire documentary? Errol Morris is a great documentary maker that can capture people extremely well. This documentary is a great look at a small town in rural Florida called Vernon. The film doesn't really have a narrative, it's just made up of interviews with some of the colorful and quirky characters in their rather mundane small town. And just based on that, it's a pretty good documentary to watch. Funny, simple, touching at times. However, this was not the film Errol Moore set out to make. The original name of the documentary was Nub City. At the time, Vernon, Florida had the highest rate of limb amputation per capita. The messed up part is that people were actually cutting off their fingers, hands, and feet to collect the insurance money. While filming the documentary, Earl Morris actually received death threats from the citizens thinking he was going to expose their secrets. He then re-edited the whole film to where it never mentions a thing about the amputations. Normal looking photos that have a disturbing backstory, part 13. A group of students in India went swimming and took selfies in the water before they left. They later noticed that one of the boys was missing and discovered the top of his head in the background of one of their photos. They contacted the police who found his dead body floating in the pond. This photo shows a starving little girl trying to reach a feeding center when a vulture landed nearby her waiting for her to die. The photographer, Kevin, was told not to touch any of the children out of fear of getting a disease. In the Victorian era, families used to dress up their dead relatives and take pictures with them. You can see that the image of the mom and the dad is blurry because they had to wait for the camera shutter to cycle, but the daughter's photo is perfectly clear. The man in this photo is Nasala. He hadn't met his rubber quota for the day, so his bosses cut off his daughter's wife and hand, and then they killed his daughter and wife and then cannibalized them. This photo shows Nasala being forced to stare at his five-year-old daughter's chopped off hand and foot. Normal looking photos that have a disturbing backstory, part 14. This photo shows Jesse McBain and his girlfriend Patricia Mann on their way to a Valentine's Day dance. When they failed to return to their dorms, their roommates called the police who found their bodies tied up in the woods three days later. They had been tortured and died side by side. What seems like a cheerful teenager is actually 17 year old Jeff Franklin, who had just used a hatchet and a sledgehammer to murder both of his parents and injure several of his siblings in 1998. In 1904, 24-year-old O.C. was giving birth in her mother's home. Her mother actually hated her and drugged O.C. on morphine and forced her to stay in bed. She then administered a lethal overdose and told doctors that she had died in childbirth to collect the insurance money, worth over $850,000. This photo shows police carrying serial killer and cannibal Jeffrey Dahmer's refrigerator into a van. Dahmer killed and cut up over 17 boys and you can tell the police are quite disturbed by what's in the fridge. Normal looking photos that have a disturbing backstory, part 15. When this Swedish teen showed up to school one day dressed as Darth Vader, his classmates naturally wanted to take photos with him, thinking it was an early Halloween costume. However, in a haunting twist, he used a sword to kill a teacher and a student, injuring many others. In 1995, at the age of 61, American artist William Utter Mullen was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. In response to his illness, the artist painted a series of self-portraits, and you can see from these photos how quickly his mind deteriorated. While this photo appears to be of a damaged rustic wall, it's actually from inside of a concentration camp gas chamber, with walls covered in nail marks from victims trying to escape their doom. These aren't decorations or birdhouses. Pictured here is an Indonesian Torjan tree grave for babies. Once a baby dies, its body is buried inside the trunk of a living plant so it can be absorbed by nature. Normal looking photos that have a disturbing backstory, part 16. The man dressed as Santa Claus is Bruce MacArthur. Over seven years, he would lure men through a dating app, murder them, and spread their remains in planters boxes. This painting, called Christina's World, seems like a normal girl laying in the grass. However, Christina suffered from a debilitating disease that left her unable to walk, so she crawled everywhere and lived a pretty grim life. 
This photo shows a prisoner of war returning from Vietnam being greeted by his wife and kids. However, the day he was released, the wife sent him a Dear John letter, meaning that she had found another man while he was in prison. Alan Harubi, a freshman at the University of Oklahoma, murdered his entire family in 2014. The next day, he drove down to Dallas for an OU Texas football game, where he took this picture in a hotel room with his friend. It can be assumed from this Instagram post that he was trying to hide his identity, however, he quickly confessed and received multiple life sentences. Normal looking photos that have a disturbing backstory, part 17. This is YouTuber Sarah Funk, who was vlogging her trip to Cyprus's Red Lake. The suitcase in the water was actually discovered to contain the body of a 12-year-old girl who was murdered by a serial killer. At $1.5 million, this is one of the most valuable violins in the world. The initials WH stand for Wallace Hartley, who was the lead violinist aboard the Titanic. This was the instrument he played the night the ship sank before Wallace himself died. This is Jimmy Seville, a famous DJ who was even knighted by the Queen of England. However, he was a pedophile who raped over 300 children at the hospitals he ran, and he even raped their dead bodies. A couple was staying at an underwater cabin at the Manta Resort. This photo shows Stephen proposing to his girlfriend through the cabin window. She said yes, but when she waited for her fiancé to return, he never made it out of the water and drowned. Normal looking photos that have a disturbing backstory, part 18. The girl in this photo was arrested for torturing and killing animals. She filmed herself doing it and even posted it online. She hanged her dogs by their collars, nailed them to walls, and even shot them with an airsoft gun. She would then cut them open and rip out their internal organs. This sweet looking little girl is Jeannie, also known as the Wild Child, who spent the first 13 years of her life chained to a chair and this photo was taken moments after she'd just been rescued. This normal looking scenic painting features the ocean with the night sky. However, it was painted by Adolf Hitler, whose dream in life was to become an artist. However, he failed the entrance exam to art school and ultimately gave up. These pieces of yarn in a first grade classroom are the trajectories of the bullets fired by the Sandy Hook shooter in 2012, who killed 20 children and 6 adults. The reason that the angles are pointing downward is quite disturbing when you think about it. Normal looking photos that have a disturbing backstory, part 19. This photo of Richard Hickok and Perry Smith shows two murders after hearing that they've been sentenced to death. They murdered a family of four and planned to rob them, but they found nothing worth stealing except for a mere $50. The girl on the left is wearing a wire. The girl on the right has no idea. Together they stabbed one of their friends to death, and the girl on the left confessed to the police and is now cooperating with them. Besides the pixelation, this looks like a couple getting married surrounded by their loved ones. However, all the children in this photo were horribly physically and mentally abused until a couple of them managed to escape. The man in this photo was actually on a first date with another woman. When he heard that Japan had surrendered, he left his date, got drunk, and walked into Times Square and grabbed the first nurse he saw and kissed her. He ended up actually marrying the girl he went on the first date with, and she has no problems with this at all. However, she says that in all these years, George never kissed me like that. Normal looking photos that have a disturbing backstory, part 20. This photograph was taken by Rodney Alcala, the dating game murderer. No one knows who this woman is, not even Rodney. He killed over 130 women and claims that this one was just lost among the shuffle. While this appears to be an ordinary group of people eating ice cream and playing music, it is actually a group of officers at the concentration camp Auschwitz during the Holocaust. This is Sheila Frederick, a flight attendant. She noticed that a terrified girl was accompanied by an older man, so she left a note in the bathroom on which the victim wrote that she needed help. She contacted the police, who saved her from a human trafficker. The Soviet Union actually used to airbrush people out of photos when they fell out of favor with the leadership. While this photo may appear to be of a little girl holding her younger sibling, it is actually of Lena Medina, the youngest girl to ever give birth who had her son in Peru in 1939, after she was sexually assaulted at the age of five.